Hello, I'm Father Martin and welcome to another one of my reflections. These are taking place during the coronavirus outbreak. So before we begin, if we just spend a few moments in prayer, praying for each other and the whole world. Our reading comes from the first reading of today's Mass. And it's from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd of Philippians joined in and showed its hostility to Paul and Silas. So the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be flogged. They were given many lashes and then thrown into prison. And the jailer was told to keep a close watch on them. So following his instructions, he threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Late that night, Paul and Silas were praying and singing God's praises, while the other prisoners listened. Suddenly, there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the jailer woke up and saw the doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to commit suicide, presuming that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, Don't do yourself any harm. We are all here. The jailer called for lights, then rushed in, threw himself trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas, and escorted them out, saying, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They told him, Become a believer in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, and your household too. Then they preached the word of the Lord to him, and to all his family. Late as it was, he took them to wash their wounds and was baptised then and there with all his household. Afterwards, he took them home and gave them a meal. And the whole family celebrated their conversion to belief in God. I have to admit that if I had been stripped, flogged, thrown into prison and my feet fastened in the stocks, I wouldn't be singing God's praises. But that's exactly what Paul and Silas were doing in the reading we've just heard. 
They were so full of joy in the Lord that nothing could dampen their spirits. They believed that none of the hardships they had to endure was greater than the joy which was yet to come. In the midst of this coronavirus outbreak, it would be very easy to fall into despair, looking at what is going on around us. But like Paul and Silas, any hardships that we endure in our life, even death, is nothing compared to the joy that awaits us too. For Paul and Silas, even though they hadn't fully experienced that joy yet, they could still sing God's praises for it. What was true of Paul and Silas is open to us too. But our belief in Jesus, who died and rose again to set us free, can give us that hope and that thanksgiving of a joy yet to come. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.